Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today I'm at Kenny Upol, and what I'm going to show you is some, something I've never seen in the junkyard before. It is a 2011 Chevrolet Cruze. Now, I've never seen one of these in the junkyard before yet. Ah, uh, this is the very first one I've seen in the junkyard because it's just so new still. But uh, we'll take a look around it and we'll see what we see and why it's here. <laughs> I can tell right now there's been some repainting happen on this car at some point in its life. And then some new hits too. <laughs> Trying to open the hood up. There we go. The hood did not want to open. So we've got an Ecotec engine. That's what I thought it would be. And we've got a 1.8 liter. This is the naturally aspirated 1.8 liter. And it's no powerhouse, that's for sure. It might put out like 150 horse, something like that. It's not really all that powerful, but. This was the most reliable engine in these because the turbo and the 1.4 liter turbo love to fail. Front wheel drive only with this car. Someone did try to break into it, it looks like. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Not really. It had a Viper alarm. And it had a remote starter with that Viper alarm. Cheap, cheap interiors in these. Automatic transmission. You could also manually shift it. <clears throat> Those are metal rocker panels. I thought they were plastic covers. So that rocker panel's gashed in real good. This car has been through hell and back, it looks like. Broken windows, trashed interior. It's in really rough shape. Trunk looks okay, but that's about all. Cruise, and this was a dealership thing that does not take it off right. It just left the glue on it after they took it off. But I, uh, oh, there's a lot of dents in this thing. Right there, the rocker was hit, it looks like, and then patched in with like pounds and pounds of Bondo. That's ridiculous. Look at that, guys. That's fiberglass and Bondo holding the rocker together. This thing is a pile. Whoever had this, such a hack to it. And the sad part is, while these cars aren't the greatest, this thing was so ill-treated. It could have lasted so much better, but it can't because someone hacked it together for so many years. Like, the fender paint over there, the rocker over here. Whoever had this really shouldn't have touched the bodywork on a car at all. Actually, it looks like by all the damage they did, they shouldn't have touched the car and driven, so. Maybe that came true, but if not, I feel sorry for their new car. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.